This video will show you everything you need to know in setting up your own bucket server for Mine Shafter 1.5. So, first thing you want to do is know that you have these three programs. The first one is Java, the second one is Notepad++, and the third one is a Craft Bucket Server. To check if you have Java or not, open a control panel, and then go to Add a Room of Programs, and if you see Java there, that means you have it. If you don't, then you have to download it. Now, if you do have it, you should go into your control panel and you'll see an option called Java. Once you're in that option, you'll see this update thing and you want to click update now. This will make sure that you have the latest version. I already have the latest version, so I'm good with this. Hit OK. So that's the first, that's the first uh, thing you need to have. The second thing you need to have is something called Notepad++. Now what Notepad++ is, it basically helps you edit your thing. It's using coding and everything. So, wh wh um, when we're setting up our back, um, bucket server, we're gonna do, we're gonna do some, like, messing with preferences and everything. Preferences and everything. So, this is what would it, this is what it would look like if you do, did it with Notepad, like this. And this is what it would look like if you did it with Notepad++. As you can see, it's way better. It's smaller, like, if you select something, it tells you like what other is selected that same like it's just way better like this so no plus 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 get it okay and the last one is the craft bucket server so you want to go to this website it'll be in the description and you want to download this 1.5 r0.1 development build and hit download once it's downloaded you want to make a sir you want to make a folder on your desktop or wherever you want to save this and you want to call it anything you want for the purposes of this video I'll just call it Minecraft 1.5 bucket server. <coughs> Excuse me. Now what you want to do is once you downloaded it, you just want to drag this into your bucket server. So as you can see, I already have it there. Now once this is there, you want to right click, go to new, text document, hit OK. Now here you want to paste this code. Now first thing you want to do is you want to copy this craft bucket name so rename and hit copy <coughs> then you want to open this text document see, uh, see this craft bucket 1.4 this thing dot jar delete that and paste it so that'll just paste the name of your craft bucket and basically what this is doing it's basically tracking tracking down where your java is so if i were to go to program files then java and then this and then bin I would see a java.exe and basically that's where that's where Java is. Now this might not be the case for all of you. If you're in a Windows 7 computer, this is going to be different and I'll put a link in the description for this as well. Just make sure you follow this link and check it work check if it works or not. If it doesn't work, just comment below and I'll help you find where your Java is. Now this XMS thing is how much GB you want to use for Minecraft. So I only have a 2 GB computer. So I'm only going to use 1 GB. So 1 GB is 1024 megabytes and you have to write in megabytes. So you can do the conversion easily on Google. So I'm just going to use 1 megabyte to 1 megabyte. So that's that. And after you're done that, like if you have like an 8 GB computer, you might want to turn this up to like 6, uh, 6, like 6 GB to 6 GB, but change it into MB. So then go to file, save as and you want to call it all files and here all you want to call it is start server dot bat make sure you get dot bat hit save you can cancel this and you can delete this text document now we're gonna click the start server and once it's starting it's gonna open up all the files so now what you need to do is you need to do something called port forwarding and there's a very easy website to do this just go to portforward.com or I believe it's portforward yeah portforward.com now here you can do it for any router that exists in the world I did a few videos um two videos before which explained how to do it on the Bell router because that's what I have so be sure to check out my other videos on how to do it with the Bell router. This, these, this website is for uh, this. This website is for other routers, so like NetGuard and like all those other stuff. So basically, all you want to do here is go to Routers, Port Forwarding Guides, select the router band. So 
I'll just do net guard and then here just select your model click search and hit control F and you want to type minecraft server go to that and basically this will guide you through what to do so basically you just go to this website and yeah you fill this out but say you're already at this website and you don't know what to do next so basically um, if you have something called a name just enter minecraft in the start port 25565 and same thing for end port in protocol you'll see UDP and PCP no TCP you just want to do both of them and yeah just select your computer so I already did that so yeah I'm good with this process so just go to your thing it should be done right now it should be it took a hundred seconds well wow. just minimize this actually cancel it you don't need it right now and now <coughs> and then you'll see the server dot properties one right click whoops where did it go uh, server dot properties right click and edit with notepad plus plus so here you want to change some things okay so first thing is allow nether true because you know if you're playing in a multiplayer server you might wanna go to another and get bricks and everything so yeah level name so um I'll come back to that later enable query just keep it at false allow flight well most people play in survival so just keep that at false server port when you port forwarding this should be the port 25565 um level seed so if you wanna put a seed like you can just put some random seed uh, server IP this is a really important one so how you find out your server IP is um, you can either go to run oops either go to run uh, why this open go to run type CMD and here you want to type in IP config and here if you're on a computer you have an IP address or if you're on a laptop or something you have like a IPv4 IPv6 if you're on a laptop you want to know your IPv4 address and if you're on a computer you know your IP address so mine's this so let's cancel this and enter that now whitelist so basically what whitelist is is that um, if you want people like only certain people to come on your server you could set this to true and here's a whitelisting and basically what you do here you you add the name so first user exactly how it is enter second user like that and just save it so I'm just gonna keep it at false because yeah just for the time being spawn animals well true cuz who wants to play Minecraft without like pigs and everything <laughs> hardcore if you wanna keep it at hardcore keep it true online mode this is very important you want to keep this false since if it's online mode then they'll post your server online and anyone can come in pvp you might want to keep this at false because you might end up hitting your friend by mistake difficulty just change it to a reason mode number so three game mode zero is survival i believe i'm not really sure uh... just change this to survival max players it doesn't really matter just keep it at twenty Spawn monster is true, generate structure is true, view distance is true, and motive is like <coughs> when you're joining the server there's gonna be like a headline underneath so just change it to anything you want so my bucket server and where were they? Mm, there was one of the things I think I missed it okay so just hit control s and you have it saved so just cancel this from here just cancel it and basically now you are ready to play minecraft so before you play minecraft there's one more thing you need to do so there's gonna be uh, a thing called op here and here basically op means operator so you have control of the game you can change it to creative you can change it to survival you can teleport so if you want to teleport just enter the name of your player and like if you want to cheat and everything just make yourself administrator like op and yeah so like user exactly how it is spelled and if you want to add another one just 
a second user like that but make sure not to do like like this it has to be like right after so I'm not gonna do it because I just want to play in survival so what you wanna do now is just open minecraft and one more thing when you're starting before you like open minecraft and everything you have to start server and you have to wait for this to load and after it loads then it all thing then you can play so I'm waiting for my minecraft mine shaft to open I should say It's gonna take a long time, like the first times you do it, but when you get like, once you do it like 5 or 10 times, it's not gonna take that long. Okay, so you wanna go to your Minecraft launcher. I need to, my Minecraft is right now 1.4.7, so I'm just gonna update it. And once it's updated... Is it done? <coughs> oh, preparing spawning. Okay. So I just let that do what it wants to do. It'll officially end one day. So, almost done. Preparing spawn area. I think this is the last one. Then it finishes. Oh no, wow. <laughs> just let it. Well, I, I'm recording and opening Minecraft. I'm doing this, so it's gonna take longer, but yeah. Okay, so it's done. So, see? First one was 100 second, not 81. So, just minimize that and open Minecraft. And once you, uh, hold on. Oh. Why isn't it working? Hold on, sorry guys, my thing's not responding. <coughs> so I'll just tell you the next step. So basically, before you um before you join your multiplayer server, you have to enter an IP. Now you might be wondering what the IP is. So it could either be one of two things. It could re either be your real IP address. So the way you find out your real IP address is just go to um, Google and type in my IP and as you can see this is my IP it's blocked right now so I'm just gonna copy this and close this it could either be that IP or it could be the other IP that I showed you before so the CMD one so I'll show you um, I don't know really why, but sometimes it works for people when they do their real IP, so like the 7 one, and sometimes it works for people when they do their CMD IP, so their IPv4 or IP address, the CMD says, so, let's just see which one works for me. When when I tried it, the CMD one worked for me, but I, I really don't know why it's like that, so basically you just have to keep trying both, and one will work. Minecraft's taking a lot. Ah, done. <coughs> okay, Mojang. So, I have this started, so when I do it, it should work. Okay, guys, so I'm back. It's finally open, so... Here, what you want to do is you want to click Add Server. Not Direct Connect, just Add Server. Just call it anything you want, I'll just call it Bucket Tutorial. Now here just paste the address. And um, here it will say can't read server because, yeah. So what you want to do, you want to click edit. You want to um, go to run again and you want to type CMD. And just go to IP config. And the IP address here for me is... I believe it was 192.0168, something like that. Mm. Yeah, 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 I remember now. Okay, so the IP address that CMD said before, oh, right here, 192.168.2.10, so I'll just type that in. 
and see if it works this time. Refresh. And hit join. And will it work? Will it work? And it works. So yeah, it's very laggy because yeah. So basically you might be wondering how um I'm already in my server, how can other people join my server? So the thing is that um other people what they have to do is they have to add your server and they either have to do one or one of two things. They you either have to tell them your IP, so like the seven one where you can find out from like Google.com or you tell them the one nine two point one six eight like IPv four one. So yeah, you either tell them one of them. It's like vice versa, basically. So if I tell my friends the 192.168, it won't work. So I have to tell them my real IP, and then they can connect. So basically, how you save this is you just want to um you want to go to CMD, you want to type save, then all. So that'll just save it. And once how you stop it is just click stop, and that'll stop it. So basically, when I go back into it, it'll be where I was. So this is my. Uh, and one more thing, if you want to open it again, you have to close this and open it again, because you already stopped it, so you can't open it again, so, yeah. So, this is my tutorial, if you have any questions, please comment below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.